I'm back. Hi guys. Uh, I finally finished my basement studio and I'm just doing a quick video of it. And um, here's a here's where I sit along with some easels. Down on the floor is some cold wax, super heavy gesso, a few easels. And behind the chair, that's all bird stuff that we put outside for the animals. And there is some uh, golden fluid paint. I'm just going to take you around. A lot of things on the shelves are not organized, but at least I got the tables clear. And I'm going to give you some shots of it. There are those uh, handmade easels that I purchased from an artist friend. And here are some shelves that have a lot of watercolor palettes, all kinds of paper, um, all of my uh, freezer paper, lots of different kinds of paper on this shelf here. And down below is more uh, golden acrylic. And then uh, there are some uh, mats that I use for when I'm painting. A lot of mediums. And this stack right here, that's all different kinds of paper. And I know that it's not taken care of very well, but I don't have a flat file, so that's what I'm doing now. And we have gesso and more mediums and fixative. Lots of stuff there. I'm gonna back up so you can see what it might look like. And then over here, here's my encaustic station. Up above, I have silicone trays that I uh, make my mediums with, some propane. I have um, heat guns and my torches. And um, I actually found some dust masks, some stencils, all kinds of encaustic books. And here on the table, I have encaustic brushes. I have two hot boxes. And then uh, those um, electric fry pans there, that's what I heat up my medium with. Then we're gonna come around. And um, there is um, some encaustic paint along with alcohol ink, cookie cutters. There's an actual respirator up there. There's a Dremel, all kinds of stuff. Uh, empty, em empty cans. There's my oil paint. Other stuff down there. A lot of acrylic paint. And down here, I also have encaustic paint. As you can see, I have it all sorted by color. And then this is my encaustic station right here. I have uh, two palettes. And I put uh, heavy duty, duty uh, Reynolds wrap on my tables. So that's what that looks like from a distance. And over on the other side is my cold wax table with my cold wax supplies. Over here on this table is a lot of brushes, a sundry of everything, shall I say, that I don't know what to put, I put on this table. And then all of these are um, canvases or supports that need uh, finishing, that were started and never finished. There's some ampersand panels. Lots of canvases up there, some shop tiles. These are all, this is all supports here. And I have um, oil paper. I have lots of uh, multimedia artboard. Just about anything that you want is right here. And there's Mr. Snuggles and a picture of Jesus, which keeps me comfort. This is interesting. When Bob and I were dating, he carved our initials in a tree at uh, 
Chickie's Rock. I have that <laughs> hanging on my shelf. I think that's kind of cute. Then over here we have still lots more paint, tubes of paint, tubes of paint, wet ones. Down on the floor are pieces that need my attention. I have aprons. All kinds of stuff here. Light bulbs, writers. I have casein up there. My staplers and scotch tape. And um, all kinds of stuff here. Here's all of my acrylic inks. I'm going to back it up a little bit so you can see. And this is a junkie wall. That is all kinds of collage materials. There's watercolor over there. There's printmaking ink over there. There's large rolls of paper over there. Lots of stuff. There's all my books. There's a heater going because this basement is not... Uh, heated. I'm going to get uh, another distance away. And down on the floor you can see I have uh, hair dryers going. There's, there's going to be the wall that I'm going to be painting on. And it's actually bigger than the uh, wall that I had at the millworks. And there's four paintings there that have been started. Two are cold wax and the two abstract uh, 12 by 12s, they are uh, acrylic. And this is what it all looks like from a distance, as you can see. And I have uh, foam, those foam pads on the floor. So uh, I don't get my, uh, I don't get tired with all of my uh, standing on this cement floor. And then here's the junky part of the, uh, of the room. There's two more tables there in case someone wants to come over and paint with me. I have electric skillets for when I teach uh, encaustic. I have um, some bigger canvases over there and some supports down at the bottom, some more easels. Of course, that, there's a chair that I sit on when I'm... Uh, when I step back from my paintings to look at my paintings. And one thing that I have right here is, is this is an old uh, antique uh, enamel kitchen table. And I have uh, uh, freezer paper on it. And uh, this is a good distance from the wall. So when I step back, when I want more paint, I have to step back and come over to the uh this table right here so my husband is working on his area that's his area over there i sh probably shouldn't show that to you but that's where he does all of my matting and framing and stuff and he's cleaning all of that up so and i did not show you my this is going to be my um pastel table you know i am learning pastel uh, there's a, definitely a learning curve with it. So those are my tables that I'll be working on. And I'll probably be working on uh, all four of them in time. So, and I also want to show you some storage that I have with my... Uh, These are framing, uh, supports. all frames. So hold on. A lot of uh, uh, floating frames I have uh, stored down here. And uh, more canvases. Then over here is my uh, uh, storage for my uh, cradled panels. There's quite a few big ones and small ones over there. And I did so want to show you that I wax. have a sliding door here for natural light down in this basement, which is wonderful. And I also have this window, which is wonderful. So I get, you know, I don't have a lot of daylight, but I do have more daylight than a lot of... Uh, studios have in the basement so, there goes snuggles he just saw something out in the yard so thanks guys i hope you all are staying safe and uh being very careful and uh taking care of yourselves i know i'm 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 starting to get uh 
cabin fever, like a lot of us are. I'm sick of cooking, which is no surprise because I used to love to cook, but when I started painting, all of that kind of went down the drain. So there we go, guys. Thanks so much. And tomorrow I uh, intend to start uh, video uh, painting. Oh, I wanted to show you this is this little setup here. You see that black gadget? That's what I put my iPad on when I am uh, videoing. And uh, I will be standing that over here in front of the wall. And here's a little one that I use uh, that will hold a uh, my iPad and my phone when I want something overhead. I'll just put that up on uh, a stool or something and then have that pointing down. So there we go, guys. Thanks so much. Take care. So please subscribe if you can.